It's exactly 8 in the evening. You're still live on Community Watch on Focus 94.3. Now, the five soldiers arrested by the Bureau of National Investigations last November in connection with the murder of Roku Frimpong, the former Deputy Managing Director of the Ghana Commercial Bank, have finally been let off the hook. Um, so we're discussing today former presidents and how well we are treating them. Um, remember, I got the offices of um, the former president, Jerry Rawlings, and then these are exposed. Um, some of um, the um, losses in respect of how we're treating our former president. Online now is Nana Obri Wahen, uh, who was a former interior minister and also a lawyer. He joins us here in the studio. Good evening, lawyer. Uh, good evening. Nana, I hope you're doing good. Yeah, I'm fine. Nana, the um, five soldiers arrested by the Bureau of National Investigations have uh, last November in connection with the murder of Ruku Fimpong, uh, who is a former deputy managing director of the Ghana Commercial Bank have uh, finally been let off the hook. Um, now, from your perspective as a lawyer, um, how do you take this? Um, we say the state has every right to do co- to this continue against a suspect. I would call it null prosecutor. The state is not enjoined by law to explain the circumstances. But this particular case, where some of us saying that it's one of those high-profile cases which we need to revisit it is the fact that the former former president Jerry John Rollins told the whole world that um, the killers of Roko from Pong were members and leaders of the new patriotic party. He was categorical about that. He said it without the slightest reservation. So now that the state has expressed her best interest in prosecuting the matter, does it mean that the statement made by the former president was unfounded or baseless? And that, as usual, it was all out to score cheap political points. These are very important issues we must you may have to explain some things to us before you go into details of um, what you actually think of the case. But um, um, I was mentioned nolly prosecchi, and what circumstances um, from your perspective as a lawyer are these um, nolly prosecchi issued? Well, where the state says that she has not gathered enough evidence how to prosecute the people, the suspects or the accused cases, then the state will enter nolly prosecchi. Okay. But you see, the bottom line is that the former former president went all out publicly to state that it was leaders of the MPP who killed Roko from Tom. And now that the state is expressing her interest or expressing her intention not to prosecute them, we know that there's lack of evidence, weighty evidence. The state cannot establish prima facie case against them in the law run. So, 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 as the state, if, as the, the investigators contacted him for a clue, as to those who did that, but these things are very, very serious matters. They cannot see them under the carpet. Okay. Okay, um, so, um, what are the implications now that, um, um, the case has been withdrawn? So, as if you are, you see, as if you are, to some of us, I think you are, uh, the, it's, it's a clear demonstration of how the Minister of Justice, Attorney General, to a certain extent or sometimes, have been playing to the gallery. You see, when I talk about playing to the gallery, what it means is that, well, somebody has said that those who uh, allegedly killed Roko from Pong, um, they are the MPP leaders. To so let quickly organize arrest of people, send them to court, pretend or let the whole world know that we are going with a fire of some individuals who are led to have killed Roku for Paul. Then eventually, it's, it's like a, a, a story, the same ghost story. Okay, like so do you, story. Nana, do you question um, the capability of the Attorney General? I am not questioning, but I think that a lot ought to be done. A lot ought to be done. Because if you don't play to the gallery, you must get out your facts before you can go. You can even admit those soldiers to police and carry pay. And then you conduct the investigation. Then you quickly go arrest them, send them to court, 
when a, a high court has admitted them the bill, and then when they are uh, on admission or when they have been discharged, then they are rearrested and sent to another court. It's not fair. Okay. Well, five minutes after eight online is um, Nana Obri Bwaheng, uh, former interior minister and also a lawyer. Um, Nana? Yeah. Um, is there a possibility of the state going to investigate further in the search for the corporate? Well, well Ron, I, I, I am not handling the matter, so I cannot uh, say with certainty. But uh, as of now, well, you can see that the state has expressed its interest in handling the matter, pure and simple. Okay. Okay, thank you very much, Nana Obri Bwaheng, uh, for um, responding to our calls. And we'll get back to you um, some other time, and I hope we can put effectively this. Let's do your community watch on Focus 94.3, six minutes after Ada. Giving your information, Richard.